Hello and welcome to Learn Data. It's great to have you on this channel. I'm Nilesh, and in this video, we'll look at multi layer perceptron and we'll look at the intuition and look at the code snippet and look at the short code in Jupyter Notebook on how it is implemented. So, multi layer perceptron is a uh, a neural network which has many hidden layers so you have the first layer let's say we have a data set here on the left hand side with features x1 x2 x3 and x4 we have four features so there will be four input nodes in the input layer plus one uh, node for the bias and then all of these would be connected to inner layer which is the activation layer also called as the hidden layer and these number of hidden layers could be more than one depending on uh, how deep the network is and each of these uh, activations could be uh, e uh, either identity logistic tanh or relu uh, when we are implementing this in scikit-learn and then we have these uh, connected to the output layer shown here the solvers that are available in scikit-learn implementation are the LBFGS, uh, SGD, and Adam Optimizer. So with that, let's look at the code snippet. Here we have another library uh, that we'll be using, which is uh, neural underscore network. So implementation is similar to what we have seen before. We have a data set, a train and test. Uh, we create uh, a new variable CLF and we initialize the class neural underscore network dot MLP all caps uh, classifier and we fit it on the train set and then predict on the test set. Now let's get into Jupyter Notebook and see how we can uh, implement this on a simple toy example. Here in Jupyter Notebook, uh, we imported these libraries uh, which include the neural underscore network and these are the versions that I'm using. Now first we'll look at classifier. Classifier. And for this we'll create a data set using using make classification. So x x comma y is equal to data sets dot make underscore classy classification. And here we'll have n underscore features is equal to let's say five features and two classes. Classes is equal to two and number of samples. Let's say we have 100 samples here. So we can uh, now split this into train and test sets. X train, X test, Y train, Y test. And here we can specify train underscore test underscore split. So this is based on the x and y and now we can print the shape of x train and y x test so these sorry this is the x train so let's uh, print the shape of x train so i'm going to type x shape and we have x test dot shape right there so we have 75 records in the train and we have 25 records in the test now with that, let's go ahead and create a model. So model, and this is CLF is equal to neural underscore network dot MLP classifier. And here we can set the max iterations to 5,000. Uh, that's, I've tried lower numbers and uh, they do not converge. Uh, we get a warning from scikit-learn. So, with these the warning goes away and then we have the clf.fit on x train and y train and finally we can perform the predict using p predict here the clf clf dot predict and this would be on the test set so x underscore test and finally we can compute the score uh, which can be uh, let's say we calculate the accuracy so matrix dot matrix dot accuracy underscore score and this is y underscore y underscore test y underscore pred uh, and for that we need the prediction so let's save this in y underscore pred 
and then we have the we can get the confusion matrix as well so matrix dot conf confusion underscore matrix and this again would be y underscore test y underscore fred and then we can print accuracy and this would be acu and then we have print the confusion matrix so confusion matrix and this would be the cm that we just created up above so this is cm and now when we run this we get accuracy of around of 9.96 and this is the confusion matrix so we have one misclassification others seem to be good now with this we can also create uh, apply the mlp uh, to a regression problem so let's call this a regressor and again similar to classification we will create a regression uh, data set so regression and here we can keep the same number of features and samples but we'll remove the classes because we don't need them and here we have the same setup as what we had before and what we'll do now is instead of mlp classifier here we are going to see mlp regressor and uh, we can increase these even further so let's add two zeros in there maybe one zero and so we can fit and then for predictions uh, here uh, we can calculate the mean squared error so mean underscore squared underscore error and here we have the msc uh, based on the y predicted values and here we have msc which is uh, what we calculate about so now when we run this we uh, we should get the msc score and that's the msc score we have so that was it for this video on multi-layer perceptron i know this was a very brief uh, introductory uh, video uh, we did not go into much detail on this uh, but this uh, at least uh, you have some intuition on what a multi-layer perceptron is and uh, how you, that can be implemented on either a classifier problem or a regression problem and in each of these there are different activation functions that can be used uh, which we looked earlier on the slides i hope to see you all in the next video until then please like share and subscribe thank you